The inspiration and starting point for my current work is a painting called The Chambly Ladies. This work, by an unknown artist, was probably painted between 1600 to 1610. Today, the painting comprises part of the Tate Gallery collection in London. I was inspired to create a modern composition based on this centuries-old one. My work questions what we are willing to do or even sacrifice for our life of abundance and how this affects future generations. My work is made of recycled materials, including cloths and scraps of fabric that I already owned. The women's color were made using a skirt, while the pillows were made out of white shirts, primarily the colors. One of the women's portrait is linocut printed on synthetic velvet fabric. The print is intentionally yellow so that her face is reminiscent of the sun. In the original painting, the two women are seated on a large bed. The fabric on which I sold my work may be familiar to many as it is made from an IKEA duvet cover. Finally, the little boy is painted in oil on cotton canvas to highlight the passage of time and make him stand out in a more realistic way. It is not clear if the Chomley ladies were twins. However, even if they were twins, they could not have been identical twins as one has brown eyes and the other had blue eyes. In my work, the mother, who I call Lea, directs her gaze toward baby word. Thus, the viewer cannot discern the color of her eyes. The original painting has several lines written in gold lettering. But because we know so little about the original painting, the inscription on it raises even more questions than answers. This riddle for the ages reads, Two ladies of Chomley family, who were born on the same day, married at the same day, and brought to bed on the same day. Likewise, I used gold thread to embroider a riddle about two mothers. This story comes from the Torah. Born in one day, we're supposed to get married to a pair of twins, however, swap and married to one. One had soft eyes. The last sentence is a pun between green eyes and soft eyes. In this contemporary image, the mother on the left cradles baby world a doll that symbolizes the future of the world, nature, and humanity. Rachel, on the right, represents the old world fading before our eyes. Her dress conceals the extinct dodo bird, and from the shirt pocket that makes the pillow springs a camel who tatters on the edge of extinction in the Gobi Desert. Similarly, the amphibian that can be pulled out of the baby's ear is a golden toad, a Costa Rican species that has become extinct. It was not been seen since 1989 and its extinction is attributed to climate change and global warming. In the original painting, the two women are depicted as duplicates. The viewer must strain to spot any differences between them. In my work, however, the differences between the past and the present are sharp. The only similarity comes in the form of an unbroken black line, a symbol of how time inextricably ties the past to the future and unites humanity 
with the world.